to share a quick thought about words, modern words, descriptive words that my wife and I have been hearing lately and we've been trying to figure them out, look into them. One isn't so modern because it's named after some Greek god, Narcissus, but narcissism and the more new one is gaslighting. And uh, we, we have certain beliefs and we sometimes are kind of shy or we tiptoe around it because we're aware if we say these things, there's people who can be offended. And when I say people, I mean Christian people. People who say they believe similar things to what we believe. And the question might be, are they similar? Are they really similar? Are they totally different? But anyway, we we're careful sometimes how we say things or we just won't say things at all because we don't want to offend these people and if the Christian life really is what we believe it is and that is walking with your father being in the presence of your father being in the love and acceptance of your father that is a monumental thing that you may not agree with but I don't think a lot of people are doing that. I don't even think a lot of people believe they're living such a life. They may be living in hope of living such a life and they believe it's not even possible in this one and it will only be after they physically die. But we believe we have entered into it. So we believe we're walking with our Father. And yet we find ourselves almost apologizing for that. Just sharing the joy that we have over this, the simplicity of who our God is. It's Jesus. We know him. This is wonderful. Oh my God. Oh my Jesus. He talks to me. He told me something. Let me tell you something. That, let me share with you. And the very basic thing of who he is is exciting to us. It's thrilling. Even though it's an everyday thing, it's amazing because it's an everyday thing. Because... Our God is with us, walking with us, sharing with us these amazing things. And I just want to share that, the irony of that. I don't know if uh, gaslighting applies to that. Certainly a lot of times narcissism does because people make things all about themselves. And if you do something that even though it's great to you, it's offensive to them and that's all that matters. Just like the way I explained something to someone once about my perspective about one of the aspects of when we left religion. This is basically a, an outline of what it was. Is we had these tremendous experiences, these, these revelations, these epiphanies. Our God was showing us who He is, and more than, well, side by side with that, He was showing us who He is, as in, if God is love, He was showing us His love for us. That he was showing us independent of religion and all the things and the trappings and the activities of religion that he loved us. We do those things. We don't do those things. It didn't matter. He loves us. He accepts us. He gave himself for us. In other words, the most amazing thing in our entire lives was happening every day. And we went to our leader and we said, the most amazing things that's ever happened in our lives is happening to us every day. And it was like, oh, that's nice. That's nice. So anyway. And that was the response of pretty much everyone. I don't want to point the finger at him specifically. His, you know, family, everything. And it's amazing because we could have shared our excitement about crocheting or some hobby, collecting stamps or or some new sport team we're excited about. And there would have been more sympathy. There would have been more mutual excitement about that. But the fact that our God was revealing himself to us in a way that was unique. And maybe I'm missing something. Maybe that's just totally egomaniacal and completely inconsiderate on our parts that we would do that. Maybe we should have kept our mouths shut. I don't think so. I really don't. Just something I want to throw out there to think about. Because that was our experience. The most amazing thing ever in our lives was happening. And it continues to happen. And 
what we get from virtually everyone is a big yawn. I, I don't despise or dislike anyone, friends, family, or whatever. We still have relationships with them, and we still could probably have some sort of relationship with some of those people back there if it wasn't dealt with. It wasn't only, oh, that's nice. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. It, it was dealt with much har more harshly. We're not going to talk about that at all. We're not even going to discuss it because you will either believe that you are believing a lie and stop believing it or that's it. So we'll just ignore you until you go away and get the message. And uh, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Try to keep it short. And I went long again. In Jesus' name. <laughs> no, I didn't go long in Jesus' name. But I, I shared that idea about, I guess gas line goes in there somewhere. Maybe you can figure it out. Have a nice day. God bless everyone. Jesus' name.